video is going to be on habanero Hawaiian pizza. My last one turned out too thick. Hopefully I can make it uh, a little bit thinner. But uh, we're going to have pineapple. I'm going to put some spam on it. Pineapple. You know, the um, sauce. Uh, flour to make the dough. And these habaneros are the ones I grew in my garden. I'm just going to pick up the smallest ones. That's like these peppers. You know, they're deformed and everything. These are just small ones. And I'm going to use those. I'm going to use the smallest ones first to, uh, to make this. And people complain about my, uh, my videos. You know, there's a lot of haters out there. And I go to their channels and they only got like two or three videos. But uh, they're always complaining about my videos. But the big question is, does pineapple go on pizza? Okay, here's the answer to that. If it's Hawaiian pizza, yes. That's the only one. If it's a Hawaiian pizza, pineapple goes on Hawaiian pizza. If it's uh, pepperoni, no. If it's meat lovers, no. If it's taco pizza, no. You know. But if it's Hawaiian, that's where the pineapple goes. So, you put pineapple with ham. But I'm using Spam this time. I think I'm going to use some pull apart part too to uh, put on there. Cheese and different things like that. But the big question is, here's going to save an argument again. Does pineapple go on pizza? If it's Hawaiian, yes. That's the only one. So I'm going to bring out my uh, magic bullet and grind this stuff up. And uh, start making the dough. This is going to be um, it's about a half a cup of flour. And then a half a cup of, a cup of this. Because this rise is pretty good. I don't want my crust thick thick. I want it pretty thin. So um, let me... Um, Mix this stuff up. Give it out my magic bullet. But I'm just going to use a small habaneros. Last time it was way too hot. Way too hot. I should only use one habanero. I used two. You know, a big one and a medium sized one. But I think I'm just going to use the smaller ones this time. Because I'll have enough habaneros to last. You know, until spring or whatever. And then next year I'll plant three or four plants. This just came off of one plant. Plus another probably 10 or 15 more that I've ate. So next year I'm going to plant some habaneros and um, I'll have enough to last for a long time. All this stuff is frozen. These are uh, small frozen onions. Uh, this is how many habaneros I'm going to use. I think there's four or five here. Last time it was way too hot. It's probably going to be hot again. Pretty hot. Cut that uh, pepper in half. And uh, one of the haters wrote in and says all my food comes from a food bank or food kitchen or something like that. All I can say is, if it did, which it didn't, but uh, if it does, hopefully this will give um, people an idea if they do get their food from a food bank and uh, they don't know how to make anything worthwhile or whatever, they can make some, some habanero uh, Hawaiian pizza. So if they're giving this stuff away at the food bank, more power to them. And hopefully this is a good uh, recipe for them. And... Uh, I don't know what to say about the haters. I can't believe the haters. Most of them are coming out of Texas. <laughs> All my mess has come from Texas. Um, around San Antonio and El Paso, Laredo. I don't know why. But, uh, you know, most of my views come out of California. And then Texas is number two, of course. Because it's the biggest states. You know, the biggest states I get more views. But I have a lot of haters on my channel. And if they don't like my, my videos, there's millions more out there, you know. That's all I got to tell you. I also added uh, garlic powder. Make sure you use garlic powder, not garlic salt. If you use garlic salt, use very little. There's a big difference between powder and salt. And I use this Italian seasoning, which I, I think is pretty good for the price. I can't remember how much I paid a buck or something like that for this. And uh, it's good stuff. Excellent, excellent. So I put in a half a cup of flour, half a cup of this uh, biscuit mix. And this is what the Magic Bullet blended this in with the peppers and the bell peppers and the jalapeno peppers and the garlic salt, I mean garlic powder, and uh, the seasoning, and a few onions, small onions. All this stuff was frozen. Okay, it looks like I already got a little bit too much uh, liquid into it. So I'm just going to add more um, flour, get that stirred up. We'll add more flour and then that way it can make some um, uh, breadsticks too. Oh, 
go with it. Jalapeno breadsticks. So I can't do this with one hand. I'll show you what the dough looks like after I get uh, get it all stirred up. So that's what the dough looks like. I'm going to cut it not in half, but probably about 60-70% for the pizza and then 30% for breadsticks. I don't want to fight it because I know there's way too much dough right there. So I'm going to cut about 60-70% or 70 off and uh, make it into the pizza dough. So I'm going to butter this pizza pan. And hopefully people like my videos. You know, I get a lot of good compliments, but that's why I have to screen my um, my postings, my uh, comments or whatever, because some people are just vulgar, you know. They're just cruel people. And uh, I don't know what the problem is. I go to their channel, they only got like one or two videos. Uh, maybe, you know, at the most, probably about a two-minute video. Don't make sense. Some of them are only like 15 seconds. <laughs> I can't believe that. You know, but they go on other people's channel and just put them down. Try to anyway. They don't put me down because uh, I'm gonna start editing their uh, their comments. But I'm gonna take the pizza and roll it out, and I'll show you what it looks like. Like before, I'm gonna put some mozzarella. Get these in about four pieces. They're pretty easy to take apart, and they fit perfect. Take two of these and uh, have eight pieces. Whether they're about three inches long or whatever, it's perfect all the way around. You know, so this must be an 18-inch pizza. It's a, it's a pretty big pizza pan. It uh, fills up my oven. But this time, I never tried it before, but with the sauce that I'm going to put on there, I'm going to put a little bit of this uh, hot sauce. What is it? It's taco sauce. Uh, love Victoria. It's okay, you know. I've had hotter. But I'm going to put some of this in there. As soon as I put the sauce on it, <clears throat> I'll put a little bit of that on there. Put some more seasoning, and then uh, start the the meats. I'm gonna have uh, two different type of meats: spam and pull apart pork, and um, onions, peppers, uh, pineapple. And one cheese. more thing. This is how much dough I had left. I'm glad I I cut it in half. About 60/40, and uh, I'm gonna make breadsticks with that. Because if I would have left that on this. That thing would have been like an inch, two inches thick of uh, crust. And that's uh, way too much, you know. So that's what I had left over. I knew that's what I the cheese looks like around the crust. And then you just roll it up. Roll the outside edges over the top. It's pretty easy. And then uh, fold it over. Can't do it with one hand. But uh, the mozzarella around the, the crust. Everybody likes cheese crust. And then you put butter and... Uh, garlic powder on it or parmesan cheese whatever you like and while you're doing this preheat your oven last time it was 475 that's a little bit too high it's down to uh, 425 now I'm going to do it for 15 minutes last time I did it I was on the computer and <laughs> watching YouTube of course and uh, put it on there for a couple minutes too long but I use a whole can of this it's traditional uh, spaghetti sauce instead of uh, tomato paste. It gives it the sweet taste. Sweet hot if you like sweet hot. And I'm going to sprinkle probably three or four squirts of this. So we can open it with one hand. Hey, there we go. Put that on there. That ought to be enough. <laughs> Whoop, need to watch the camera too. It's pretty hard doing this without... Uh, with one hand without a tripod. Okay, I need to stir that around and, uh, and get it ready for the uh, peppers, I think. Peppers and onions. And if you don't like uh, a lot of heavy sauce or whatever, save about a quarter of a can of this uh, Damani traditional and you can use it for dip for your uh, cheesy breadsticks, jalapeno cheesy breadsticks. So if you don't want, uh, I usually use a can myself. If you don't like heavy sauce, save about a quarter of a can. That way you can dip your your uh, breadsticks in. Well, that's what it looks like with that pepper on it. That was a small pepper. It is one and a half small ones. Uh, next year I'm going to grow more peppers because I really enjoy bell peppers. Red, yellow, you know, orange or black or green. They're all good. 
I just don't like paying that a dollar, a dollar plus per pepper with no taste. And uh, next year I'm going to plant a whole bunch more um, bell peppers because I like them. So that's what it looks like with the bell peppers. Time for the onions. Okay, while that's in there cooking, here's the leftover dough. I'll make some jalapeno um, cheesy bread, cheesy bread sticks. So I should be done within, you know, 10 minutes. Easy. So by the time I pull, pull the pizza out, it'll be time for the breadsticks to go in. Okay, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's going to be uh, cheesy breadsticks. It doesn't matter if your pan isn't, uh, I mean, your dough isn't round or whatever, because you're going to roll it up anyway. So I'm going to grate some cheese, put it on there, put some um, garlic powder on it. And uh, roll it up and then uh, bake it. You'll see. Okay, that's what it looks like with the cheese. Put a little bit of garlic uh, powder on it. If you like garlic powder. If you use garlic salt, you know, be careful. Just a tenth, tenth of that, you know. That garlic salt is strong. So when you roll it up, make sure you have uh, flour on your fingers so the, the dough doesn't stick to it and you don't uh, ruin your roll. So have uh, flour on your fingers. And uh, roll this up, I'll show you. There it is right there. I couldn't roll it up very good with my finger, so um, I had to use this spatula. Both sides, one like that. I forgot to oil up the pan. <laughs> Always something. So as soon as you cook this, probably cook it for, uh, you know, 10 to 12 minutes. And uh, maybe even put it on broil for one or two on the, at the last. And then get it out and put some butter on it. But I should have... Uh, Oil the pan. Let's see how many more minutes we got left for the pizza. Uh, we got two minutes on bake. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, don't look too bad. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll have to take a look at the bottom. Probably put it on uh, broil right now. Come out on the sides. Yeah, we're going to put it on high. Whoop. Whoop, got to stop it first, I guess. Put it on. Okay, for about two minutes on high, because it looks like it's doing pretty good. Okay, it's been a couple minutes on high. <clears throat> we'll see how the top looks. Pull it out. Oh. Whoop, whoa, 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 whoa. I think I put too much sauce on it. We'll take that one off and put this one in for uh, 10 minutes. Yeah, I think I had a little bit too much sauce. I should have kept the sauce for the um, for the cheesy bread for the dip. Okay, we're going to put it back on bake. Shut this off. Bake. 425. Ten minutes. I should have um, greased that pan. There's uh, some of the mozzarella coming out. So this is a Hawaiian habanero Hawaiian pizza, <clears throat> and uh, about ten minutes you'll see the cheesy bread. Pretty easy to make. I think I put a little bit too much sauce on there. I should have saved some of the sauce for the cheesy bread. And um, as we're waiting for the bread, you can go around this with butter, the edges. And the cold. Same thing with the bread. When I get the bread out, I'll put uh, quite a bit of butter on that. Let's take a look at the bottom, see how the bottom looks. Let's see. Ugh. It doesn't look too bad. It didn't burn or anything. Let's 
soon as, as soon as it cools, it'll harden up. Make sure it doesn't stick. At least I put uh, put some butter on this uh, pizza pan so it wouldn't stick. Just like using butter. So after it cools, I'll cut a slice. See how thin it is. I wanted it thinner the better, you know, because that uh, flour and stuff it rises quite a bit. Okay, let's see how many minutes have we got in there. It's only been three and a half minutes. And you can see it. Okay, that's what the, um, the pizza looks like. Uh, the crust is pretty thin. Let's see what the bottom of it looks like. I wonder if you can see that or not. If you like sweet hot, that's what this is. Get ready for the, the bread. Bread should be done. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just in time. Don't want to burn it. as much butter on there as possible. <clears throat> then you just slice it like bread, like regular bread. But like I said earlier, I should have used some of the sauce off the pizza for uh, dipping this cheesy bread. Let that cool and I'll slice it. But yeah, I should have greased this pan. Let me grab a fork. That's I don't know why I forgot doing that. Yeah, it's okay, it didn't stick. Yeah, another minute or so they would have been burnt. But the pizza turned out pretty good. Had a little bit too much sauce. But it's good to show your mistakes, you know. And I'm uh, drinking tea. That's what I'm going to have with this. Habanero Hawaiian pizza with uh, iced tea. It's not really iced tea, but it's tea. It's all natural. I have uh, everything you can imagine in it. Beet juice, rhubarb juice, plum juice, apple juice, um, pear juice, cinnamon. And it tastes great. It really does. It tastes pretty good. But there's my habanero cheesy bread. Habanero Hawaiian uh, pizza. And uh, thanks for watching. Oh, I was going to slice this up. Oh, let me slice this up and I'll show you what it looks like. But see, you just slice that like regular bread. You know, like a half an inch thick, th uh, an inch thick or whatever. This is, uh, this is the end of it. So you can use that for your dipping, you know. So this is habanero cheesy bread. Hawaiian, habanero Hawaiian pizza. Iced tea. Bon appetit. Thanks for watching and subscribe.